Hola, 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 hola. Big up Gabriela Coachella on the check-in. Um, I want to say good morning to each and everyone out there in cyber world, in the real world. Um, shout out to everybody who wake up this morning with breath in your lungs. You wake up all your organs, them at work. You're alive. You're actually surviving. You know what I mean? I want to say shout out to every living human being. You know, try to do as much good as they can. Try to be the best you right now. You know, this live is all about interviewing Gabriela Coachella. So, we are going to join her to the live in a few. But, you know, I have a couple of things I have to say before. I want to say big up to the people of West Palm Beach, Florida. Last night, we went to the Thursday night event. It was off the chain. Um, more and big up. Smoky Fire, Big Up Super Twitch, Big Up Kickboxer, Kick, Big Up Badger Ravers, Big Up ZZ Promotions, my whole team, Big Up Phil Zindi, you know what I mean? Um, most of all, I want Big Up the promoter, Zine, Bull, and his wife, you know, them book me. Um, place nice, place set up good. When I reach there, I have my laptop, Smoky have my laptop. When my time for play now, it was me and Fire Reds. Fire Reds played. An hour, I said, oh, Fire Reds are my time now. Ready now for play. And turn on the laptop, the man. You understand? Boom, man. Hook up the laptop to the machine. My laptop now read to the machine. Um, smoky laptop now read to the machine. The machine. Either we want to update the laptop or the machine want to update our. And fire reds say all right footer and play some tune for you i really appreciate that you see me i say i really appreciate that because some place you got some selector would i try all out and you know what i mean so as bad as things may be people talk about things about fire reds you know what i say i forget fire reds some respect for last night you know what i say yeah they allow me to use him laptop and get the work done. You see me? Family thing. You know, money pull up run. Make sure it even dollar for dollar. Cent for cent. You see me? Make sure you say, fairies get half of every money we forward. Because if I never feed him laptop now, fuck you that go on. You see me? I say? So big up fairies. You see me? South Florida number one. You see me? Yeah. So. You know, gratitude is a must. I have to show gratitude where, where, where it's necessary, you see me? Yeah, and big up the promoter again, big up Bull. Big up the whole West Palm team, you don't know what I say? Big up Polo, you see me? Big up everybody with the... Yeah, the player Shell last night, you see me? Sean's good life, big up yourself. Big up the girl with the leash around her neck. We walk like a dog. <laughs> She got a bugger thing in her party last night. You see me? You soon get some video from Street Approved Entertainment. Him have the picture and the video them. So as soon as him send on, ready. You see what I say? Yeah, man. Yeah, so. Also, people, I want to stop. I want to stop worry about this election thing. See? Mama people for understand say. Are the same people them in a are the slave masters them on our vote for you? You see me? When you not vote for yourself. No matter what it is your right to vote. You're not right. No no we not right. You see me? First thing them give a two D man for pick from. Can't help you. You see me? So big up everybody. No want to just go out and make money. Find ways to make money. Find ways for us. Because whether Joe Biden or Donald Trump, we in the same shit. It's no escape for black people. They tore them up there to keep black people in poverty and keep black people stretching out them hand to white people. 
None of them not help with. None of them not come to save black people. Them come to save them own system, them own corporation. And the puppets of the corporation are we, the people. You understand? So nobody feel like, oh God, Trump are wicked, Biden good. Biden are wicked too. Him just have a more diplomatic way of speaking. Him speak like how Barack Obama speak. You see me? Them convincing words and intelligently convince you that he's a good person. Trump now just not give a fuck. I don't care if you want to believe them, them decent and military thing, just a do the work. Play, blindly and boldly and not care. You understand? Yeah, so I'm just happy for wake up today. I'm just happy for be alive. I'm just happy to all of my organs are work and talk to one of my son a while ago. And he passed all of my final exam with distinction and big up yourself, kid. You know? And I'm just glad for you know, I'm getting a bad call. I'm not hearing nothing bad up to you know, my family and my friend them. Everybody wake up with life and, you know, sky look like it's like a rain, but it doesn't even matter. The grass them green, the tree them green. With oxygen I flow, carbon dioxide I flow. It's like, I'm going wake up just feeling amazing today, you know what I mean? I just have to give God thanks for you know, say, yo, all are we there today, you know what I mean? Like, all of the rest of the things don't really matter right now. You get me what I say? It's just, you have to just give God thanks so you're there. You have to just try to live good and just try to do something for make God feel appreciated, you know. Just to make sure that the universe is happy with it. Because if we wake up and feel so good on a day like this, why we should I upset the universe? We can just, you know, give thanks to the birds and the bees and the trees and the rivers and the seas. and You know what I mean? Like, we don't need a million dollars to do that. We don't need we don't need a billion US to do that. We don't need for rich to do that. We don't need a Bentley or a Rose Rider or a Ferrari to do that. We don't need none of that. We just want to get up and say thank you to the universe, you know? Like thank you for Mother Nature. You you kept me alive. You woke me up today. I am happy. I wanna say thank you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just that that. Just yeah. You know, I just love life, Reggie. You know what I mean? I say, yeah. The ultimate, you know what I mean? We cannot go around it. Life is amazing. No matter what COVID that is, no matter what. No, we are alive. When I see me right now, I mean, I see one we, we are alive. We, we don't even know if COVID is for real. You know what I say? We don't know if COVID or them are put something. We don't know. I the first thing come. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, I yeah. Hi, Gabriela. So, Gabriela, what make you put on so much lip gloss? You know? I always you. got on a bunch of lip gloss. You want my lips to be dry? No, but they're over shiny, I know, boy. <laughs> yeah, that people, I'm... this is Gabriela Coachella. Um, Drip Queen. I was introduced to her by reviewing one of her songs, and I was honestly impressed with her vocals and the way she delivered and she's here now for an interview but you know my chat with part uh, so um I'm just saying uh, Gabriela what what what's the main thing you wanna give thanks for today? What what life, what? breath, air, all of the things that's underrated I wanna give thanks for just just to be able to bathe, to have a bed to sleep in to be able you know, to see. You know, we never think about the beard part. Yeah, yeah. It's a very important point. A lot of people now be in this pandemic. You know? mm -hmm. Key to push in door. Can grab a mask and put it on when I'm going in the store. Enough people can't even afford to buy one mask. So there's a lot of things to be grateful for today and every day. All right, Gabriela. I'm going to get the business like all the people in my attention. Um, <laughs> this is a question that females don't like to answer, but I'm going to ask it anyways. How old are you? Now. Is your first year? Yes, now, you are. Put a... <laughs> yes, how you old are you? You know you cannot be asking no girl age. age. Oh, you're, you're not a normal girl. There's Don't leave the comments. There's people in here. Leave. I'm more than that. No, follow that number there. Um, there's, a, there's, but, a, there's a few people in here, so I can't be telling, I can't tell no, you how old I am. 
Uh, I'm you're 23. Not a yeah, arts. Okay, so you're 23. Um, you Jamaican or American? I was born here. My parents are Jamaican. One parent is Jamaican and one parent is Caribbean. Oh, so when you say Caribbean, what do you mean? From Montserrat. More Montserrat. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been there. I love it. Um, is is our uh, Montserrat is owned by the Queen also? You know? mm -hmm. Is it mean once you're born in Montserrat, you automatically can go by to the British yeah. Island. Yeah, so and then get the whole power money from the Queen to help out the country. But it's a very small country. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody know everybody. When I was there, the Prime Minister himself escorted me to the um the boat because there's a boat that took me to Antigua and then we got the airport. So there was a, a, a what them call it, ferry mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. And the Prime Minister himself, Indina the party too when me I play. Everybody it's just so small. It's a very small place. I've never been but I've heard from my family that it is a beautiful place. Oh you never been to Manstrat? No, nope. no, you should go. Never, because it's your heritage, it's your legacy. You should go. I've been there. I'm ready. I like, heard a lot of things. It's a nice little like island. I've been to a lot of places, and Manstrat is one of the places that stand out um, in my places of travel. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, Jamaica, you're you're much uh, German strat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, yeah, German <laughs> That's strut. new. That's new. A yeah. German strut. Okay. Yeah, German strut. So, my thing is, um, you have a a different fusion of sounds. When I listen to you, I hear America, I hear Jamaica, and I hear a little bit of England. Like, I'm hearing three languages. Like, when I listen to your music, I'm not just hearing. Okay, that girl have like a Yankee song, but she's Jamaican. No, my ear something way different. What when I hear from you is like me just I hear it. Cause if you listen to Steph London, you hear England, Jamaica. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you know you have a song where I could have guessed and spell and say, you know, England she come from her, come from America or she come from Jamaica. You know what I mean? Like and it, you have an international sound with it when I really appreciate. And it's like a merger for me because I listen to tons of music and I know it's something exceptional. So that's why I'm really so excited to do the interview too. Um, me, for me, me band for the music before my band. Right? So I know say, my purpose and my calling, right? Yeah. When did, you, when did you decide that you wanted to take on the journey of music? Where? I've always done music. I went to a music school. At what age you started that school? Um, I started that school for my high school years. I was 14. Mm. I went to that school, Boys and Girls Choir Harlem. Big up. Oh, so that means uh, you basically started music at 14? No, I started music before 14. I started music in my house. We all start music in our house. In our home. Yeah, at what age? What age did you know that? Okay. I want to be a singer. Or, or, or this way. I am singing. I, oh my God, I can sing. I think I was four or five listening to Whitney Houston. Okay. And singing well, along, knowing her well, words at that age. Well, you're, you're already on point if Whitney Houston is your influence. Oh my God. Yeah, so. Whitney Houston is my all time, ultimate favorite female artist of. All times. Yep, that is. And then, he is the and first. And there's Lauren Hill. So, I just have my meds there because me listen. Those different. are two musical beings that that yeah. can't be touched. They can't be touched. Right. Whitney Houston, top of the chain, and then overall, like I got say something now where people are gonna take the wrong way. I probably not understand. My favorite male artist is Michael Jackson. But, oh, I'm not going to take that the wrong way. He's one of my favorites. No, no. We're not finished yet. But the greatest artist of all times is Bob Marley. Oh, period. So, there's, yeah, a difference with, there's a difference with your favorite artist and the greatest artist. Michael is my favorite artist. But Bob is the greatest artist of all times. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Agreed. So, I would agree. So, can you remind me or tell me and tell the fans what was the first song you sung? Like when it when you can know yourself and say, "Yeah, sing I, yeah. Every time somebody's ever sing, I that song you want to sing, can eat your life. <laughs> Honestly, it was a gospel song. Sing it, mommy. Like, we, we all want to hear. Umbrella Coachella. No, your book. That was unexpected. Yeah, your vocal them sick. I'm a like that. I key them up. I'm a like that song. <laughs> it's a gospel song. I told you that before I started. Yeah, but I don't know that one. Uh, that's, that's one of them weird, deep gospel songs. I don't know that. Here's the thing. When you used to use that song in a movie? Um, let me ask you now. Have you done any collaborations that any collaborations in your career yet? Um yes, with some unknown people though, like like with artists that are on the come up such as myself, but not with anybody big yet. Okay, so basically, um your professional career is not um Booted out yet? You're not all over the. Okay, you know, your vocals for all your song. I think if the right people them hear you, you will get a whole power. Are you signed to anybody? You have a manager per se, like somebody who is responsible for coaching that. So the thing is, right now we are in transition with Gabriella Coachella, and yes, I do have management and an entire team that's working with me to get me to where I'm going. Okay. So you don't have like a record deal yet though? Um I'm signed with my manager has his own. No no no, no. that's that's a management contract. Yeah. I'm talking about the um No, he like has a record, a record label and I'm on that record label. Yeah, but that's independent. Yeah. You're not signed to like a